This Indonesian fried rice is so full of flavor, a little sweeter and spicier than your normal fried rice. This is my version of Indonesian nasi goreng. Hi guys, I'm CJ. Welcome to Craver's Corner. Our today's recipe is inspired of my last year's travel to Bali, Indonesia. We are going to cook nasi goreng. You will need dried chilies, chicken, onions, garlic, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, shrimp paste, eggs, 2 cups of rice, dark brown sugar, salt and pepper. And for the base of our fried rice, we have to prepare a rampa, which is a simple chili paste. We just need 2 small onions, cut into quarters. Four to five pieces garlic cloves. Five dried chilies soak in hot water for 15 minutes. Add in your shrimp paste. and a couple teaspoon of soaking liquid. Blend all those together till you have a coarse paste. Transfer into a saucer and set aside. In a large skillet, heat 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Saute 1 teaspoon of chili paste. You can add more if you like it spicier. I'm gonna stop with 1 teaspoon because I cannot take too much heat. Now add in your meat. For me, it's chicken. You can use shrimp, barbecued pork, or even make it vegetarian. You can just put veg or tofu. The world is your pickle, my friend. Use whatever you like. Now add in dark soy sauce. I'm using Chinese dark soy sauce here, but if you can find the Indonesian sweet dark soy sauce, you should use that. Stir until all the pieces are coated with the sauce.
grind in black pepper Push the meat to the side of the pan. Beat in one egg. And fry for a few seconds. Add in 2 cups day old rice. Break up all the clump of bits. Add in 1 tablespoon light soy sauce. Mix and make sure that all the rice grains are fully coated with the soy sauce. Taste for final seasonings. I'm adding in a pinch of salt. And a pinch of dark brown sugar. This gives the characteristic molasses -y flavor of this dish. And there you have it, our nasi goreng is ready. Finally, let's slice off a few fixings that goes with our rice. Starting with few slices of tomato. And a few slices of cucumber. And okay, while you guys are not looking, I fried up a Southeast Asian style crispy fried sunny side up egg. And now, let's scoop up some rice and assemble our plate so we can finally dig in.
Let's see. And the addition of the egg, so creamy, it binds everything together. So good. Mm. And the crunch of this vegetable. Yeah. This is Riller Riller Chicken Dinner. Yum! So if you like this recipe, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Till we crave and cook again. Bye!